I think the work that I do is making smiles and giving people a peace of mind about their pet that have passed and being proud of their fur baby. I do mostly dogs and cats and horses. I did a couple guinea pigs, a couple hamsters and birds. This stuff comes out of left field every once in a while. I can do anything. Now this is a secret weapon. Uh, this is a Q-tip. So what I do is I usually will blend in the fur we do puppyhood to adulthood. I think it's one of our most exciting pieces that we have now. Now I'm gonna go in with the pencil and finish it off. I don't do children or I don't do portraits of people. I don't do anything that can talk back to me. We started in 2018. Now we have a three month wait list and I do about 10 a month. In elementary school, actually I started drawing. I went to Hushin College of Art in Philadelphia where I was an illustrator. I got drafted. I got out, it was back in 79, we had a recession and things weren't happening so I ended up selling all my art material, my equipment and then I answered an ad to get into sales selling outdoor electrical signs, lighted signs for businesses. Rosemary says, I wish you would get back into your artwork. So I uh, did my two grand dogs, Deimos and Paddington. So we took them to a show and set them up on a table with an easel and they really started to come alive as far as people would say, oh, I, I have a pet. The top dogs are the Golden Retriever and the Lab. The second was the Pitbull and then the, the, the English Bulldog. I do something unusual. I don't use acrylic, I don't use oils, I don't use watercolor. It's pastel on an 800 UART sandpaper, which gives the pastel more tooth. It gives it a three-dimensionalized look, which makes it unique and different. And I think people really see a difference when they look at it. It looks like the pet's coming right off the page. But it's just lay, laying the color and the fur over top of each other and I just kind of feather it in. I work in three sizes. I work in an 8x10, 11 by 14 and 18 by 24 It's kind of a three-phase process. I ask them for at least three photos of their fur baby and then I give them a pencil sketch layout just to show composition only, no detail. And then I get into this thing called sneak peek from the drawing board where I'll give them like 50% of the fur baby send it to them to make sure that we're on the same sheet of music, that the coloring is right, the markings are right, everything's right. And then the next couple of days they get a little bit more, and the next couple of days they get a little bit more. So they're actually seeing their fur baby done in real time. Ta-da! I've done hundreds. I do about 10 a month. She's a good girl. We have one, we have Malia. She's our mascot. She is our face of Pet Portraits by Joe Brewer. I look for one word. Wow. And 90% of the time, that's what I get. On the back of my business card, it says, animals do talk to those that are willing to listen, which is true. When I'm painting these dogs, I see God because God made all these animals. Uh, it's a fun business to be in.